business was starting to become very well known, partly because he was saying some very interesting things about God and how we could become God's friends, and partly because he started to do some extraordinary things, things like turning water into wine when they ran out of wine. And sometimes, sick people came to him, he made them feel better, even when the doctor had said it wasn't possible or blind people were able to see after Jesus had healed them. It was amazing. One day, after Jesus had been talking to crowds of people, he said to some of his friends, let's go on a boat to the other side of the lake. It was a really big lake, but some of his friends were fishermen, so they had their own boats. Jesus must have been really tired because he fell asleep. While Jesus was sleeping, the weather began to change. First, the wind started getting stronger. Then there was a crash of thunder, and the rain began. First, it was quite light. There was another crash of thunder, and the winds grew stronger. The rain was much heavier and heavier, but Jesus was asleep in the boat. The wind was really wild now, and the thunder crashed again. The rain was pouring down. Still, Jesus stayed asleep. The disciples were getting worried. Would they ever be able to sail through a storm as bad as this? Another crash of thunder. Rain pelted down, wind crashing in waves into the boat. They were going to drown. They woke up, Jesus, don't you care that we're about to drown? We're desperate. Thunder, wind, rain. Jesus stood up and said to the wind and the waves, be still, stop, peace. At once, the storm stopped. You don't have to be afraid, Jesus said. Didn't you know that you could trust me? His friends were amazed. They've never seen anyone do anything like this before. Who is this man that even the wind and the waves obey him?